Developing news from Capitol Hill right now. We learned recently that Republicans will form a select committee to investigate the 2012 attack on four Americans in Benghazi. Speaker John Boehner released the following statement, quote, four Americans died at the hands of terrorists nearly 20 months ago, and we are still missing answers, accountability, and justice. It's time to change that. Also new today, Congressman Daryl Issa subpoenaed Secretary of State John Kerry to testify about Benghazi. NBC Capitol Hill correspondent Luke Russer joins me from Capitol Hill to talk about all this. Uh, Luke, start, start out with the Republican response mm -hmm. to this. Why are they making this move now? Well, it's interesting, Ronan. For months, a lot of Republicans in the House have called on Speaker John Boehner to have a select committee regarding Benghazi, and mm -hmm. he has been slow to do that. In an interview with Fox News at the earlier part of April, he said that the reason he hadn't moved on that is because a various amount of committees were investigating this, and he did not want to interfere with those investigations that were ongoing. However, recently, with the release of those new emails that Republicans say showed the administration really tried to put mm -hmm. the blame on this on a video and not some sort of failure of policy, they say that was a huge mistrust and that's why they're moving forward. The backstory is though is there's three reasons. Number one, by having a special select committee, the leadership can assert control over the investigation regarding Benghazi. There started to be some turf wars. You had the House Armed Services Committee saying that oversight was doing it the wrong way with a witness they had called recently. So that sort of pushed those turf wars that were developing within the House GOP conference away. Number two, this is something that Boehner and other establishment Republicans it's red meat they can throw to the Tea Party conservative media crowd that is obsessed about Benghazi. It keeps them in their good graces. And why not? Going into the 2014 midterms is all about turning out your base. This is something that helps. Lastly, though, it plays into this culture that Republicans are trying to create around the Obama White House is that they're deceptive, they're deceiving. It helps them mm -hmm. not to have to talk about any other issues. And I'll throw this one thing in there, Ronan. Hillary Clinton, she was Secretary of State during this. Why not put mud on Hillary Clinton's tires ahead of 2016 when a lot of folks feel she will be the presumptive Democratic nominee? It does seem that that looms so large in the motivations mm -hmm. behind this. But when we look at that Ben Rhodes email that's at the heart of this, yes, Benghazi is mentioned in passing, but it's very clear that the quotes that these Republicans Republicans are taking issue with are about the broader range of protests in the region happening right then, which were in fact linked to a video, not a coordinated attack. Do you think in light of that that these attacks will really hold water? It's an interesting thing. If you go out throughout the country, Ronan, folks who subscribe to the conservative media, they are obsessed with mm -hmm. this issue. Does the general public wake up every morning worried about what happened in Benghazi? Probably not. They're probably more concerned about what the economy and what the future holds for their children. But when you take into the complicated dynamics that are the House GOP and the House GOP internal politics, it, you sort of see as to why Boehner moved forward on this in terms of he can hold the issue. I personally do not think this is going to be the end-all be-all issue of the 2014 midterms. I think Americans care a lot, a lot more about other things. Nancy Pelosi, in fact, said this is a subterfuge mm -hmm. designed to try and distract away from other issues that perhaps House Republicans aren't strong on. All that being said, the more you talk about Benghazi, the less you have to talk about anything else. And they feel in the House Republican conference that they're on strong footing here, no matter what the administration has said regarding the fact that there is all those protests all around the world. We'll see if that prediction comes to pass. NBC's Indeed. Luke Russell, appreciate your having your coming Take on care. the show.